What's up everybody, it's Kevin here from Happy Beard Games, and today is a reboot of my series Famicom Fridays. Now, Famicom Fridays was something that I tried to start back in the day, maybe sometime a year ago, so I could showcase some of my Famicom games, get some gameplay, get some information about the games, because I am an English-speaking person. I live in the United States, I don't speak Japanese, I don't read Japanese, but I'm interested in it very much. And I've been interested in it for a long time. So with the Famicom, a lot of the games are mostly entirely in Japanese text. They contain Japanese cultural references that I may or may not understand. And things like that that I'd like to explore in a video series on each game. So sometimes I can tell the difference between the English translation game or the Japanese translation game if I have it on NES and Famicom. And I can compare the two or some videos I might jump into the cultural references of each game. Some games I might try to translate on my own. Um, in today's video, we're also going to check out some Super Famicom games. Because with Famicom Fridays, it's not just Famicom Fridays. We're also going to play some Super Famicom games on these Fridays. So it's a big variety of Famicom goodness. And in this package today are my first five Super Famicom games that I've ever bought. In. I actually have one other Super Famicom game, but it was a gift. There is a pull tab here, so maybe that's what I should be doing instead. There we go. Okay, they're all wrapped in bubble wrap, so we're all good here. There is... Nothing left in the box. We've got, right here, the store... I believe it's called Retro Games Japan on eBay. I'll have the link to that in the description below. It's a really cool store so far. And the store was one of the better looking uh, J Japanese, um, ex exclusively Japanese games stores on eBay. That was not actually from Japan, but they're centered and located in the United States, which just makes it easier for me. Okay, so here we go. Here's the first game. You got, this is really cool, just admiring the, the actual card itself. It looks really interesting and fresh and new to me. As someone who loves the Super Nintendo and just is interesting in Japan games, I am really like the Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom. Uh, so the first game is Samurai Spirits. You may know this in the West as Samurai Showdown. Samurai Showdown and Samurai Spirits are the same game. So this is the Super Nintendo-ish. I don't know if it was ever on the Super Nintendo. It might have been. It probably was. Uh, but this is a Super Famicom port of the arcade game, Samurai Spirits. And I knew that, I'm just noticing something on the cover, I knew that there were some Super Nintendo games that featured surround sound. And that's really, really amazing for the Super Nintendo to have surround sound. Uh, but this says on the front that this Samurai Spirits game for the Super Famicom is in surround sound. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. The only one I ever knew about before was Jurassic Park, so another surround sound game. And this game, Samurai Spirits, is an awesome uh, fighting game. It's a 2D fighting game. Kind of like Street Fighter, but there's more swords involved and weapons. And it's a really fun game. I really like the series. I've actually done a video on it before, which somehow turned out to be one of my most popular videos each month. I don't know why, but if you like that video, I <laughs> hope you're watching this one too. Anyways, that's Samurai Spirits. Really cool one. Might be one of the better ones. It's the only one, well, one of the ones that I'm more familiar with. Here is a game that I love a lot, but I've never played any other versions of it in another language. And then I found out there were some regional differences between the Famicom, or Super Famicom, and Super Nintendo version, and that is Super Donkey Kong, also known in the US as, or the West as uh, Donkey Kong Country. That's what I'm familiar with that as, Donkey Kong Country. But it's in Japan, it's called Super Donkey Kong. Which is weird, because a lot of Super Nintendo games are called Super This, Super That, Super Mario World. Um, but this was always called Donkey Kong Country, where I'm from. So, uh, it's called Super Donkey Kong in Japan. Same game, but there is some key differences between this and the West version, so... I'll be excited to do a comparison video between the two. So there's Donkey Kong Country, aka Super Donkey Kong. I believe the next few are all based off some of my favorite anime series, because that's a really important thing to me. Uh, having games based on anime, when you're going to Japanese exclusive games, that's one of the key things that I'm going to look for. And this is Sailor Moon. 
I'm not sure about the entire title, but I'll have that for you in text. This is Sailor Moon. It, there was two Sailor Moon games, at least, available for the Super Famicom on this store. There may be more. One of them was a puzzle game, and one of them was a brawler, or like a beat-em-up. I think this is the beat-em-up one. I'm pretty sure it's a brawler or beat-em-up. Maybe a fighting game, but it's a brawler or beat-em-up, I'm pretty sure. Featuring Sailor Moon and the story of the Sailor Moon anime. And I do want to check out the puzzle one later, too. I just... It was a hard choice deciding between this and the puzzle one, so I went with the fighting one. Now, we've got a couple more games in here. Okay, so the next game is Yu Yu Hakusho 2 by Namco, or Namcot. I don't, I don't know how to really pronounce that. Is the T silent? Namcot? I'm not really sure about that one. Uh, I have some other games by Namco that are have the T at the end for the Famicom, so I'm kind of interested in that. Why it's spelled differently as a T at the end. It might be a silent T or Namcot. Namcot. Anyways, it's a fighting game based on the anime and manga series Yu Yu Hakusho. Which, Yu Yu Hakusho is one of my favorite series. It's about a boy who dies. This is not a spoiler. It's at the very start of the first episode. He becomes a ghost. He gets intertwined with this big story about being a spirit detective. And uh, he does some martial arts and learns uh, lots of fighting moves. This is why this is a fighting game, I believe. Uh, kind of like a 2D fighter, like a Street Fighter, I guess, based on Yu Yu Hakusho. And I'm really excited to play this one because I really love the series. I've got the theme song going in my head right now from the anime. And it's just a really fun looking game that I really wanted to check out. So there's Yu Yu Hakusho 2 for the Super Famicom. We've got one more game here. Another one that the theme song's also going through my head right now. And that is uh, Hokuto no Ken uh, 6. Yeah, Hokuto no Ken 6. And that is Fist of the North Star, the sixth Fist of the North Star video game, I guess. I have one of them for the Nintendo NES that was simply titled Fist of the North Star, but I believe that's actually like number two, maybe, um, in the whole series, because not the entire series made it to the West, only a few of them. And this is one that did not make it, and that's why I'm getting it on the Super Famicom. Now, Fist of the North Star is a really cool series. I've known about it for a long time because my stepdad lived in Japan for a while, and he recorded some anime off TV. This was back in the 80s when this was on TV, newly. He recorded Dragon Ball, Yurusai Yatsura, and um, Hokuto no Ken, and I think some other stuff and some game shows on a VHS tape. So I saw that tape when I was a kid, so I knew about some of these anime before they were localized. Or at least before I knew they were localized. And this is a pretty violent anime, too, to watch when you're a kid. Uh, so Hokuto no Ken, or Fist of the North Star, should be a fun game. I think this is an arena, or an arena, but, um, like a 2D tournament fighter type game, but I'm not sure about that. The other one that I had on the NES that was a Fist of the North Star game was an action platformer. So, uh, we'll see what this is like in a future episode of Famicom Fridays. I'm really excited to check that out. I don't mind that it's the sixth game in the series. I just want to play something fun. Alright, everybody. So, these are the games that I got for Famicom Friday today. They're all Super Famicom games, but I have a growing library of original Famicom games as well. So, if you're interested specifically in any of these games, um, or you want to request another game for me to pick up, let me know that in the comment section below because I can pick them up and then I get to that review sooner than later for you. Um, Famicom Fridays is going to be a fun series and I hope to be able to do some more of them in the near future. But that's about it for this episode. Stay tuned to Hagrid Games for more classic gaming goodness and Famicom Fridays. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as well. Stay tuned to YouTube and subscribe today for more classic gaming goodness. Alright guys, bye!